Now let's see how the TNT golden tool works. Before removing any truck tire wheel assembly from the vehicle, the OSHA regulations require that the tire be deflated. If it is a dual tire assembly, both tires must be deflated before any nuts or clamps are removed. Failure to follow this procedure can result in injury or death. After removal of the tire rim assembly from the vehicle, lay the tire down with the long ledge up, opposite the demount side. Go ahead and break the bead. Warning, do not hit the tire wheel assembly with steel duckbill hammer. OSHA regulations require the tire and rim manufacturer service procedures be followed. Most tire and rim manufacturers warn against the use of steel hammers to strike the tire wheel assembly as it can cause damage to the wheel or tire. Using an approved good lubricant, lubricate the top bead and turn the tire and wheel assembly over. Repeat the bead breaking process on the top bead. Lubricate the top bead. You are now ready to demount the tire from the rim. Place the demount tool with the tines or fingers down and against the edge of the rim resting on the tire as shown here. With either foot, kick the tool down between the rim and tire bead. Bring the tool up over center and demount the top bead. Keep a little pressure against the tool onto the rim to keep it from dropping down out of the tire in the direction the operator is pointing. Now bring the tool back up over center and catch the bottom bead. It sometimes helps to step on the near bead to get it into the drop center. Once you've picked up the bottom bead, bring the tool back over center and peel the bottom bead off. Now let's see how the TNT 100 Golden Tool mounting tool works. The mount tool is designed for easy tire mounting without any chance of damage to the tire bead. The wide area on the face of the mount tool and the rollers eliminate any chance for bead damage during the mounting process. Before mounting the tire, lubricate both beads and rim well, making sure to get plenty of lubrication on the front and back beads. As with any tubeless truck tire, position the tire on the top of the rim. Now, as if you were using a regular tire iron, go ahead and mount the bottom bead. As the bottom bead drops on, let the head of the tool catch under the top bead. Now roll the tool out from under the top bead and start your mounting process. Generally, three or four bites will have the tire mounted. The demounting of some super singles and high flotation tires may require the use of a 7 inch high wooden block as shown here. Super singles, whether on Dayton rims or disc rims, mount easily with the TNT 100 and the 7 inch block. As with all tubeless tires, lubricate the beads top and bottom. Install the demount tool in the same manner as any other tubeless truck tire. Demount the top bead. Put the seven inch high block under the sidewall and continue the demount process. Remounting of super singles is just like regular truck tire mounting with the mount tool. After any truck tire remount process, the OSHA regulation requires that all tires and rims be put into an approved tire inflation safety cage 
for inflation. Use a clip-on air chuck and stand away from the cage. During the tire mount demount process, you may run into some minor problems and the TNT 100 won't work. Don't panic. The following are some simple tips to help you make your work easier. The biggest and most common mistake tire service men make is the improper lubrication of the tubeless tire and wheel. Improper lubricating will result in great difficulty in the tire removal process. As shown here, the areas of the tire and wheel that are most important are the toe of the bead, rim ledge, and drop center. Without proper lubrication on these areas, the tire will not demount properly. Problem. Tire sidewall is very stiff and tire bead stays up near and tight against the rim lip. Demount tool won't go between the rim and bead. Solution. Place a small wooden 2x4 or any block under the rim only. Push top bead down with foot. Now there is room for the demount tool to be kicked in. Problem. Top bead comes out of drop center before tool hook, as shown by arrow, catches top bead. Solution. Simply use a small amount of pressure to hold top bead down opposite demount tool till hook is engaged as shown. Problem. Demounting small tires. When demounting small tires, 14 inch through 19.5, stiff sidewalls and tight beads are a problem. Solution. Place block under rim and kick tool into place. Now position feet on rim as shown and proceed with the demount process as you would with any other tire. Problem. Demount tool is kicked in, but you change your mind about demounting. Tool is difficult to remove. Solution. Stand on tire with feet on either side of tool, reach down and pull tool out. Problem. The top bead is off and the tool is moved to demount the bottom bead. You change your mind. How do you get the tire tool out? Solution. Move tool up till hook slips out. See where operator is pointing. Tool will now disengage from bottom bead. Problem. Demount tool won't pick up bottom bead on super single. Solution. Put a block under the tool side sidewall of the tire. Bring the tool back over to grab the bottom bead as in all other demounts. Let tool push rim up as shown. Plenty of lube is needed here. Put foot and weight onto tool neck and push down to catch the bottom bead as shown. Step on rim and pry bead off. Problem. Mounting very stiff sidewall tires, 14, 15, and 16 inch. Solution. On some very stiff sidewall tires, the operator must move his feet to provide pressure immediately behind the mount tool and keep the bead down past the rim ledge as shown here. Many times the last bite in mounting the top bead is difficult. Do not try to hammer or pound bead on. 
lay the handle of the tool down on the rim and push the tip of the demount tool under the bead between the rim and bead. Good lube will help. Go ahead and pry bead over rim ledge. If tool bead won't go, kick tool on side to get smaller bite as shown. <laughs>